You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief, but you need to return to her. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you, as if it senses your uneasiness. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death and awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Lucane, shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him to ask more details. The magician Lucane is waiting for you in the laboratory of the old tower. It seems that dying had an adverse effect on his short-term memory. Lucane can't remember why he went to meet Wallace. Lucane is researching magic called runes, which are closely tied to spirits and fairies. Lucane introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong curiosity. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. Lucane says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. What will you ask? Lucane says that he would be delighted to discuss this and launches headlong into a discussion about runes. Runes are magical letters that spirits and fairies carved into the world. You may have seen them yourself. Touching runes makes letters sparkle and float. Runes are a combination of three characters that create various effects. However, runes won't work unless a spirit or fairy is present. That's what you gather from Lucane's long lecture. Before you realize it, Tiki is following you around. She seems to have taken a liking to you. She will accompany you on your adventures henceforth. Fairies are known to be adept at finding hidden things. A letter from the castle has come to you via the guild. It simply says to report to the castle in all haste. Hmm, you're back. There's a job. You assume that the letter was sent by the Prime Minister. Perhaps he has another request for you. Count Dean is waiting for you at the throne room. It is he who sent the letter. After your previous encounter, you can only assume that he's up to something nefarious. You brace for combat. The guards have drawn their swords and are blocking the exit. Count Dean starts talking to you in a soft voice. He says that he has personally requested your assistance in performing a task for him. He wants you to scout Bilberon Fortress on the border. 
This underground fortress is a well-known structure. Originally built to defend against the Orc army, it now lies in Orc hands. Scout them and learn their invasion routes. It is a very dangerous mission, but refusal means that you will be at the mercy of Dean's guards. You accept. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border. These are the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Now it is a dangerous place, full of dragons and wyverns. How bothersome. lie within the ruins of the old Elysian Temple. Some greater, some far less so. An ancient dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. ships that had been reported missing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Outstanding. It's my turn. Simple. It's the Uka. Done. 